Hello everybody, good afternoon. Santa Claus here in Batangas, in the Philippines. So Catherine's over with Grace over at the sister's house. She's waving to me now. Let's see if you can see her. There she is. That's as far as I can zoom. It's not focusing good. Anyway, we kind of got a little bit of a surprise today. Uh, we found three kittens up here. Here's one. Can you see him? Very cute little kitten with blue eyes. So he keeps hiding in this corner. There was two more over here. Grace found them when they were when she was watering the uh, plants. But they're gone. I came up earlier and the mother cat was up here nursing them. When she saw me, she ran. But I went inside real quick because I wanted her to come back, make sure she takes care of them. And then we brought some food and we brought this little bed. Now I put the one kitten in this bed, but he went right back to the corner again. He or she. I don't know. I didn't check. But the mother came and ate some of this food. And I think she took two of the three kittens somewhere. Because I don't see them. I only see this one. Anyway, he don't want to be bothered. He wants to stay there. So hopefully she'll come back. She'll come back and get him. But if she doesn't, I guess we'll adopt him. Catherine really wants it. Catherine already picked him up and pat him and fell in love with him. I said you can't take him yet, Catherine. The mother might come back. So then we put him in the bed here. Which is my old lawnmower catcher that I never used. And uh, he, he left. He came right out of the bed and went back to his corner. He seems to like this corner. I guess he feels safe there. Anyway, that's the story of the kitties. There were three, now there's one. There were three, now there's one. So that's why I'm up here on the balcony. I don't know how she got him up here. She must have carried him up here. She must have jumped on the wall. I've seen kids, cats on that wall. And then jumped on the Kubo roof and then came up here. Maybe she even gave birth here. I don't know. Or she carried him up here. I don't think she gave birth here, though. We would have known. Because Grace just found him today. She's up here watering plants every day. And today was the first day we've seen them up here. So I don't know, maybe she decided to move them. But I don't know why she would leave one. Anyway, it's got some food. I'll probably put a little bowl of water up here uh, after I do this video. I'll put a little bowl of water. Because it's probably, um, I don't know, maybe it's cool where he's laying. So, what other news do I have? Um, Myrna. Myrna left today. Her relatives came and picked her up in a big van because she had a lot of stuff, a lot more stuff than I thought she had. And um, they left. They left around after they ate lunch to the bus station. Now, an hour ago, Grace got a phone call from her. 
Uh, I'm going to walk while I talk here. It's a little breezy, so maybe you're getting uh, some wind noise. Lock the door here. So I was saying, uh, about an hour ago, Grace got a phone call from her. She said the bus is not leaving because there's a typhoon out there, which I already told them about. Even though it's not typhoon season, sometimes they get a late one. You never know. Sometimes there's a late typhoon, and this is this happens to be a late typhoon. I just watched uh, Westpac weather. The guy is really good. Anyway, it's over by Palau on the east coast over there. And it's supposed to make a turn. It's supposed to turn east. It's heading west, but it's supposed to make a drastic turn. But they don't know for sure. And it's a level one, which is the weakest, but still. He said if it doesn't make the turn, it can be a lot worse than it's going to, than they're saying right now. But anyway, I guess the bus company, um, I guess the bus company didn't want to leave. So she told Grace not till Sunday now. They're not going to leave till Sunday. So we said, well, what are you going to do? She said, I'm going to just stay here because she has too much stuff, too much luggage. Um, and she didn't ask Grace to pick her up or anything. So she said, she's just going to sleep on, sleep there. I guess they have benches. They have a restroom. They have they have vendors selling food. So she's going to stay there till the bus leaves on Sunday. So that's, uh, that's tonight and then tomorrow, a whole day, unless the bus leaves earlier. And then Sunday. I said, what, how many other people are waiting there? And she said, a lot were, but some uh, left because they got kids and stuff at home. They can't stay there. They went back to their homes. But quite a few people are staying with her, too, also. So that's the story. Now Myrna's got to stay at the bus station for a day and a half and wait for the bus to take off. <laughs> Crazy. But I told them there was a typhoon out there lingering by Palau. So we called Dingoland also and let them know. They said they're ready for it, just in case. So uh, nothing else really. They did do laundry today. And um, they had lunch before they left. The people in the van, we also fed. And there's been a guy back here, he's been cutting, he's been cutting the grass back here every day. But he hasn't been back here today. Maybe they're going to plant, plant some stuff again. But I hope he cuts the rest of it. I don't know. I'm just curious, this is where that mother cat went, where she took her, her kittens. We see her over here sometimes in this uh, dirty kitchen looking for food, but I don't see her now. I don't hear the kittens crying or anything, so she must have taken them somewhere. Uh, whatever, you're getting a look of uh, Grace's plants again. So that's it. That's the big uh, the big news today. Is we found kittens, and Myrna's gone. Other than that, it's just uh, another ordinary day. Hot, but at least we have a little bit of a breeze.
And um, no news on the volcano. My brother keeps reading stuff saying it's more active, more active. Maybe, but they haven't raised the level yet. It's still level two. I'm not going to worry about more active until they raise the level. I mean, they look at it every day. They have people uh, watching it. They have experts looking at it. I think they fly over it every day. So right now we're okay until they start raising the level. I don't think it's going to be a problem. But at least the uh, front drive is done now. If we have to get out of here, we can get out of here. No problem. The van even, the big van even came up here. So everything's good. Um, that's it. Just going to take it easy the rest of the day. Now we don't have Myrna around. So if we go shopping or anything, one of us has to stay here. Only one of us can go shopping at a time. Or to the bank or anywhere else. Uh, we don't need any kind of pass here. They're not requiring any kind of pass to leave the house here. To go downtown. Downtown Tanawan doesn't require it. Nobody's checking passes or paperwork. So we can go shopping. We can go to the store. We can go downtown. No problem. But it's better Grace go. I always send her... And I usually stay home with Catherine. And we also heard the, the tutor uh, will be starting on Monday again. She's feeling better. She's going to take the whole weekend off here and uh, start back on Monday. So we'll be taking Catherine to class on Monday. Hopefully everything will go good there. There's her little scooter. We got that at Lazada for like 200 pesos. So yeah, if I ever need anything, if I, I just order it from Lazada so I don't have to go shopping anyway. Lazada is much better prices and they deliver it right to your house. You can get anything you want. It's funny, you can even get liquor. Even though there might be a liquor ban, they'll deliver it right to your house. They don't care about a liquor ban on Lazada. <laughs> Nobody's checking their packages. There's, uh, you can get everything there. You can get food. If you like something that's hard to find, um, you can find it on the Zada, for the most part. I mean, of course, you're not going to get any frozen food or things like that because uh, they can't keep it cold. But canned goods and uh, dry goods, yes. All kinds of stuff like that you can get. So you guys can think about doing that too. You really don't have to leave your house. It's just like my brother in the United States. He buys everything from Amazon. He doesn't go shopping that often. They deliver it right to your house, no problem. So that's it everybody, I'm just going to keep an eye on the, this kitten up here, seeing if mommy comes back for it, we'll keep an eye on it. Catherine's probably hoping mommy doesn't come back, she wants the little kitty. But um, it's probably still a little too young to be without its mother. I think it's still nursing because we, I put a can of tuna and some rice and some fish up there, the, oh, Grace, Grace put that, I put the tuna. And uh, I don't think they ate any of it. I think that was the mother who ate it. But anyway, uh, she'll come back anyway if she knows there's food there. So that's the story. I'll let you know what happens uh, with the uh, continuing story of the kittens. First there was three, then there was one. Now there's one. So keep on watching and uh, see what happens there. And uh, see what happens with the typhoon and Myrna. It's something to to keep watch, to keep a reason to keep watching anyway. At least there's some news. 
Okay, Mr. Rooster, I hear you. So take care of yourself, your friends, your family. Stay safe. Take care of your pets. Help the needy. And do the best you can out there for everybody. Be kind to everyone. Stay safe. That's going to do it. God bless everyone. Santa Claus, now living in the Philippines, in Batangas. Over and out.